Larson, and I want to share a very valuable lesson with you today. My operations manager, Amanda, will actually be going through step by step so you understand every single nitty gritty detail of how to do this operation. Here at Real Estate Mad Education, we don't believe in fluff. We believe in details. We want to give you actionable information that you can follow along with and go implement right away. I hope you enjoy this training. Thank you. And I'm going to show you how to use Instant Data Scraper to scrape uh, members of Facebook groups. Um, it'll save you a lot of time, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download the Instant Data Scraper Google Chrome extension. Um, so once you click on Instant Data Scraper, it's going to take you to this. And I already have this, so um, it's only allowing me to remove it. But if you don't have it already, you're just going to add that. It's going to download. You open it up. Um, and then it's going to appear in your extensions. So um, up here top, you can see extensions, and then there's the ability to pin these. So um, that's just going to save them for easy access. Now, I'm using a Mac. If you have a PC, it might look a little bit different, but if, as long as you find it on your computer, you should be able to save it, and then it'll appear up here at the top um, so that you can use it pretty quickly. So now let's head over to Facebook. And what you're going to do is first you can search any group and then add yourself to it. And once you're a member, you're just going to click inside that group. Um, and then you're wanna, you want to come over here to people. And then now you see how it has um, 1,238 members. So if you want to get an Excel spreadsheet very quickly of all of the group members and a link to their Facebook profile, you're going to just use the instant data scraper here. So what that looks like is you must be on the page where you want to scrape the data because again, it's only going to pull the information that it sees. So it's not going to actually do any, any investigation work. It's not going to go inside their profile, grab emails or phones or any of that. You're going to have to do a little bit of manual work, but this is going to save a lot of time from, you know, having to copy and paste and build a spreadsheet yourself. So now to get started, we're going to click the little icon here, which looks like a Pokemon ball. And then up here at the top, um, how you can read this is basically it's going to start by um, just pulling all of the information that it sees right here on the page. Now, if it's not pulling the information for some reason, you can click try another table and it's going to go somewhere else on that page and try to pull in information in. Um, we're good to go here. You can clean up the rows. So right here you can see it has the name, it has the Facebook profile, a um, little bit more information uh, about them and their profile, whatever it you know can show you right there. So for example, um, this one says sales rep, this one is University of Iowa. You can clearly see that here on the page, so it's going to show you that here in these columns. Uh, however, you cannot see a phone number, an email, or any other information, so it's not going to pull that. I just want to be clear there. Now, to get started, you can see it's scraping one page, and the rows collected are 20. Now, we know there's 1,238 members, so we definitely need more than 20. So what that means is you can see in this yellow, that's where it's pulling, and then it stops here. That's because it only pulled what it showed on the page. So what we need to do is that we need to start crawling and that's gonna actually bring us through um, all of the other names on the page. So we're gonna go ahead and just let it, you know, continue on and it's gonna do this for a while. Um, we had, you know, 1200 and some odd names on here and you can see this, it's now scraping four pages, five pages, and you can see the rows collecting are getting uh, bigger and bigger until it reaches the full 1238. Um, you're going to let this just kind of go uh, and continue to do its thing until it completes all of the scraping. Um, now, if you ever want to stop while it's doing this, you can just click stop crawling and it'll let you download whatever it shows you here. Um, so for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And then now to download this information, all you have to do is either click download as a CSV file or as an Excel file. So let's go ahead and do that and see what that looks like. All right, so here is the Facebook spreadsheet. And as long as you open up these columns here, you now have a name and you have a Facebook profile. So you can update these columns here. 
And then you can even add your own columns. So uh, the ultimate goal is to be able to reach out. So you can either copy and paste um, their, the link to their profile here. And that's going to take you over to their page here where you can now send them a direct message to reach out. You can also delegate, um, so you can maybe make a column, reach out, or you know, direct message, and then just keep track of it, so who you've reached out to. Um, and then if you do end up getting an email or a phone from them, you can look on their profile. So if we go back, you can just look around. You may have to click into view profile, um, but a lot of people, especially in these groups, um, do have some information, but again, some may have their profile to be private. So if you're not friends, you may not be able to see that information. So you could uh, do some Google searches and try and scrape that information online yourself. Or once you reach out direct message, if they reply back, then you can move forward um, to get their contact information. But it's a really quick way to download the name and Facebook profile into an Excel spreadsheet and then just delegate um, some of this more manual searching to somebody else. If you want help from Matt's team to generate 10 to 15 verified buyer leads per day, send an email to hello at realestatemat.com with the subject line that says buyers.